So, um, what I'm uh, what I'm going to do today. This battery is defective. It's it's brand new old stock, but it's defective because it's been stored for too long. So um, the task uh, the task at the moment is we've got to take this thing completely apart. Now, before we even start here. These batteries are dangerous. If you short them out, um, it's not going to be good for you or anything else for that matter. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, so I'm using a sharp knife to go through the, um, the shrink rack. Um, but of course, the knife is more than capable of digging into the batteries themselves and if I were to um, short out a cell or a number of cells I'm going to get a very large bang so we have to be very careful here so I'm using a Leatherman knife because I know it's sharp and the sharp knife is a safe knife strangely enough um, so we're going to be taking this part very carefully now we've got um, sealant on here um, We've got silicon uh, sealant on here, so we're going to remove that and then cut the uh, the blue shrink wrap. So uh, I'll move the camera back down again so we can follow the action as it were and see how we go. So uh, first of all, there's a, there's a little bit of masking tape there that just holds the uh, cables there. And then we've got the silicon. So first of all, let's uh, see how we do with this silicon. So if we can go through, that's just the silicon is just um, is just sealing the gap between one layer of um, shrink wrap and another. So uh, we go again. There's absolutely no point in rushing this. I mean, being a bit over careful, if anything, is probably the name of the game. So uh, we'll take the top layer off there. And we'll do the same on this side as well. This knife is uh, going for the silicon like uh, a butter to be honest. It's not having any problem with it at all. Okay, now, I've got to decide where I'm going to cut the silicon. Um, and I think we will go along the cells rather than across them. So let's, uh, let's see how we start. We'll do one layer at a time, I think. <coughs> so, yeah. So, that's how it goes on there. And now, so that went in there, that went in there, like that. Um, you might be wondering why I'm kind of keeping your orientation on how things went together a little bit and it's because remembering um, that of course I'm intending to make a new battery so really as much as possible I would uh, like to put this back together the way it came apart so that's like that let's go for layer two was on and here's the cable and look at that we have a batch battery management system board on how interesting and I really didn't expect that now on top of that we have some tape not regular tape some uh, very heat uh, but there we are that came off there now that was basically uh, well, uh, right so that came off the board there. 
that uh, now interestingly uh, that was covering up the edge of the, the battery management board here we've got the uh, main connections for the supply um, inside we've got the uh, main supply to the motor on the outside there's a yellow one and uh, the black one here uh, which is the charging circuit as well right and what have we revealed on the back well there's a strap on the back um, A strap on the back which is uh, linking linking the cells so uh, how how the, how the cells are actually configured in the pack um, the, there's 15 cells in series um, two Two, in fact, two packs of 16 cells. <laughs> no, I'll start again. It's 30 cells altogether, and they have been paralleled in pairs. And then those pairs have been series together. So you've got uh, 15 pairs of cells put in series with each other. Now, how they have been connected here what's in parallel and what in series I've got to determine. Um, the batteries themselves are LG batteries uh, so we'll look those up uh, but uh, yeah now so um, back to the management board again we've got a piece got some tape on either side again it seems to be securing the uh, the uh, battery management system board so okay and that right so go a bit more wide angle here oh, for this battery management systems working in charge and discharge which i am surprised at so i've had two two surprises this is pretty much concludes the uh the, the deconstruction so far but i have two big surprises here first of all there's a battery management card on this unit in the first place because I really didn't think there was one I mean the thing's very slim um, barely increases the size of the unit at all um, the um, and second the big surprise is the uh, battery management system is working on discharge as well as charge which I really didn't expect I don't know what current um, the, uh, the discharge um, operates here the FETs that are taking the current um, to the motor and this is what would be switched off if um, the unit decided um, and of course the other the other way the normal battery management systems I use use a connector and wires that go to the cells and this one has got its connections um, for the cells uh, distributed around the board to correspond where the cells are which is quite an elegant solution um, but that will affect the way I make up the battery pack as well so uh, very very interesting okay so um, I've been looking at this uh, 9 bot one e battery a little bit more on the management board now because um, we have a management board on here that means there is wiring um, from each of the cells out to the board and they very conveniently um, put those terminals on the board for me to access so effectively I can look across pairs of cells uh, to check their voltage for each um, pair in the pack for which there are 15 
starting with zero volts there and the first cell which is here and if you look at the meter we have four volts which is exactly what it's supposed to be so the first cell there is four volts if i move on to cell the second cell the second point i can see it was eight volts because i've got the first um four volts of the first uh, cell and then the second pair of cells has taken me to eight so it looks like the second pair of cells is okay as well so moving on to the next pair we're up to 12 we're going up four volts at a time so three pairs okay four pairs okay five pairs okay so we're up to uh, 20 volts there five pairs now if I go to V6 there you can see it's still 20 volts so across this pair of cells we haven't increased the voltage at all so I can conclude if we just measure that one by itself nothing whereas if I measured the previous one it's a 4 volt cell this cell is dead likewise the next cell 6 to 7 that's dead 7 to 8 is can you see that 7 to 8 is dead 8 to 9 is dead 9 to 10 is dead 10 to 11 4 volts we've got another good good pair there uh, 11 to 12 4 volts good 12 to 13 4 volts is good 14 uh, 13 to 14 that's a pair 14 that's uh, 3.7 that's good and the final pair which is from 14 to 15 which is 4.1 which is good so what this means I've, I've identified that uh, there's a lot of pairs and I can uh, write these down and I will do uh, off camera I'm going to write down what pairs are good and I'm going to write down what pairs are bad now the bad pairs are showing zero um, whereas the good pairs are showing the full four volts um, which is what they should do um, which is very good indeed now uh, the intention is to replace batteries on this that there is a way of um, restoring duff cells um, when the cells are completely discharged you get like a copper fiber um, builds up in the cell which can short out the cell which is what i believe has happened to here so they not only are the cells absolutely flat they are effectively shorted out now there is a technique um, for sorting this out it is controversial it is not recommended and i've got no idea um, if it's going to work or not I am going to do it and uh, we will see if we revise it or not I'm not going to film it because I can't in all honesty recommend it as a process um, I'm, I'm going to be taking some precautions when I do it I can tell you and I won't be indoors either so um, so my next video will be on what the results of having done that to these broken cells are um, and we will see where we go but uh, all very interesting. <laughs>